Hey guys, how's it going? It's Josh, and today we're starting something new. This is Firewatch. Uh, it's a game that came out a little while ago, but I really wanted to play through it, so I thought this would be the perfect chance to play through it right now and play through it so you guys can watch it, um, sit back and relax. Um, yeah, so basically I want to play this game and starting these new playthroughs. Um, basically, they're just going to be me playing the game very little commentary so you guys just sit back enjoy it um, I'll make little comments here and there but other than that uh, yeah just uh, just get yourself a drink something to eat and we'll get started so here we go gonna start up a new game here we go I've really wanted to play this game for a while. I just haven't gotten around to it, and I'm, I'm really excited that I get to do it now. <laughs> oh, I ripped my headphones out of my ears. And look at that, Colorado. Boom. That's where I'm from. So, pretty cool. Let me see Julia. Yes. Oh, okay. She's about your age, late 20s. Laughing with well dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So, it's your major. Yeah, yeah. I want to go with this one because I feel like that's a little too strong, and 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 girls they tend to not tend to not like that. So let's 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 just go there. You slur the word major, and it smells like Coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, and now a professor. Cool. Cigars. Toxicology? Question mark. Oh, was that a burn? She says definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asked if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you're Julia's boyfriend. Wow, that turned out really nicely. I wonder if that's just an illusion of choice. Because I know that's in games. There's like an illusion of choice where um, you get two choices, but they lead to the same thing. You guys are already probably already know that. But anyway, let's start playing. What do we got? Got a backpack. Okay, I'm going to pick that up. And we're here, whatever we're doing. Cool little parking structure. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to get in my car. <laughs> okay. Boom. You date for over a year. She absolute. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Y yeah, you're definitely right. Colorado, got a woman, got got beers. Man, life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. Fair enough, dogs are cool. Scruffy, undersized beagle, Julia's in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also... Intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad can happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. You know, I love shepherds, so I'm really gonna go with that one. I'm, I'm really, I think I'm gonna go with that one. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. You got that right. 1979, you talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have one, a couple little idiots. Hmm. I feel like we've probably been dating for a while now, so maybe maybe this would be a good option. Kids, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be... Screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. 
Yeah, she's probably, probably right. Probably right. She'll probably get married. So am I married now? Alright, cool. So we're hiking. Do I need my backpack? My backpack right here. I don't have my backpack. Very beautiful art style. I definitely like that. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Uh oh. She's not quite drunk, but she's really been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Do I get mad or do I ignore her? That's that's the real question here. Um, you know, getting mad is really gonna start a fight, but ignoring is you know also a bad option uh, I'm gonna get mad it's upsetting call oh oh okay I didn't mean to I didn't mean to call you an asshole but okay not be a baby call her selfish she knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings you want to do a slice of draw she draws plans from her research she draws all places you go she draws you yeah, you got you got to uh, you got to be like He Man, you know. Look awesome. Uh, it's just this is a really beautiful game. It's very beautiful. That is that is a view right there. The Rocky Mountains, man. That's what I'm talking about. Let's hop over this. Ah, oh, bright sun. 1982 during the summer's view and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. It's a festival. It brings people from faraway places. Oh, someone trying to mug me with a knife? Oh, damn. beat his face in. That's my dog. That's like my kid, yo. We walk, we walk by the river. That's good. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale's in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. He's a great job, Associate's Department Chair. She wants you to move. You absolutely do not. Oh, man, I don't know. That's really tough. Because long-distance relationships, man, those are, those are not something to mess around with. You know, I want her to be happy, but I also want... And now, oh, man, I'm gonna just agree. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. I say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Should you know? It's just you know, just relax. You know, it's fine. She just needs. She just needs you. You know. That's what it's all about. So now I'm just interested. Why are we out here and we're alone? Let's pick up this journal. Oh, I wanted to. I kind of wanted to read that. Mayhem is getting older. He got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. 
You and Julia walk into the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's inflation gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children are little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you in bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to her to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Oh man, this is terrible. This is tragic. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. Yeah, I don't know. Like, that's really tough. You know, I think we gotta do, you know, what's best for her. You know, and I think she's only gonna get worse if we try to take care of her by ourselves. So, that's where we're gonna go. Alright. Walking up the trail. Looks like another day. Another day now. This is like only the beginning of the story. This is really intense. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day, then every other day. Oh man, this is its not good. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I'll cut your balls off. Wow, that's pretty serious. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. Wow. 1989, Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it. If you won't see a therapist, you won't. You've always really liked Susan. Months go by, Mayhem dies, Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to walk in on you. In the back of your mind you believe it's because you see her less and less, and seeing her less and less makes her forget you more. You think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. Probably the job that we have right now. We take it. We take this job. Wow. This is like sad, terrible. I don't like this. I'm very like emotionally involved in this already, so that's a good thing. So hopefully we get some gameplay now. is it's henry right yeah i'm delilah yeah that's what the guy said on the phone so what's wrong with you excuse me people take this job to get away from something so what's wrong what's wrong with you that's a great idea go ahead look i just hiked for two days so i don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now you take a stab at what's wrong with me Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Hmm. 
Hmm, which one? Nobody back home can stand you. That seems that seems the choice. Seems like a good choice here. Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. Ouch! Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close? Good night. <laughs> good night. Welcome to the job. Oh, yeah. Day one. Just gotta wait for it to load. Oh, look at that, he's in the typewriter. Morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. <sighs> okay. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh... Are those yeah. fucking fireworks? Um... Nope, I'm gonna have to uh, report I don't see what you're seeing. Um, definitely not seeing Seriously, any fire. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, lady, I had to wait for the fireworks Whoa, to show up. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. All right, I got this little nice flammable stuff. <laughs> like kick show, like, yeah. Kick the shit out of them, sort of straight. No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. Sure, I'm going this way. I don't know if this is the way. way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Secure. Shut up. Let's go this way. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get these guys. Get these punks. Oh, yeah. Supply of cash. Code is one, two, three, four. Boom, look at that. Nice and open. Alright, so we're gonna take the rope. What else we got in here? Hmm, what else we got? We got a granola bar? Cool. Come on now. Eat. Yum 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 yum. Okay, so map updated, I drew on it. All right, we're gonna be heading west. Let's see. let's take this route. All right, let's keep going. Go 
Because they're getting close, right? I'm just going to assume that this game went directly in the wrong direction. Yeah, we are you? What are you in there? It'll just take a second. Oh, a frame rate. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Oh, ouch. That didn't feel very good. Guess I should probably tell her what happened. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Hmm. There's a campsite. Oh, look. They decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. I want to sprint, damn it. Gotta catch these guys. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Oh, the frame rate is just really. Found them in the lake, naked. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? <laughs> oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bush and spying on us? Give him a break, Lily. He probably hasn't seen boobs in 20 years. <laughs> He's probably still a virgin. Ugh, I know. You don't know a damn thing about me. We know you're a peeping Tom. How long are you even standing over there? Oh my god, is that what you are? Blurk me out. Ew. Can we just get out of here? Ew, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. So you better run away. This is my boombox now. Stereo. Okay, well, uh, I guess we're all even then? Yeah, I think so. But seriously, <laughs> though, thanks for dealing with it. Yeah, you guys gotta love this song, right? So there's no uh, noise ordinances or rules out here? big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon.
Yeah, so it's like echo north. Fair enough. I think this is the way we need to go now, bros. Bros and lady bros. I just want to get back to my sweet, my sweet, sweet tower. This is like something I just like decided to do. I'm just like, yeah, this is this is this is my life now. Like, hmm, this is nice. This is beautiful. So I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about, uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's uh -oh. bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm the same. It's not going to strike twice, all that. Well, there was an old lookout named cash. Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Yikes. Ooh, flashback. Ah! Cool, got a flashback. Got a flashlight, yes. Oh, do I have to go through there? That probably seems like the likeliest choice here. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another lookout? They go in, they never come out. <laughs> She's funny. Ah, so this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, it is. Yep. There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Nah, I'm gonna be a loner. I just wanna get back to my tower, man. What the hell? Is that really my tower? Why couldn't I just go back the way I came? That took me like two freaking seconds. What the heck, man? Got to find some rocks, some rocks. Got to find some rocks. Tired man? Tired from finding these rocks? Oh, yeah, I probably shouldn't. Good one. 
Nice and damn it. <sighs> Certainly can't be modern. on the ground outside of my tower you right yeah look uh, the wind no how the hell you should get inside fuck me <laughs> I'm trying to report vandalism Jeez. someone broke in goodness gracious what? they just they wrecked the place threw my typewriter out the window motherfucker yeah Holy shit. mother uh, Frenchers service know what happened gotta clean up now ah man gotta clean up my mess all right well this episode has gone on quite a bit that intro took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be um, for this game so sorry there wasn't okay, a whole I bunch of gameplay oh okay hold on okay so I'm gonna put it in a call so we'll finish up this for like a second I guess what can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five O. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And. Now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. Ridiculous. I need you to feel safe out here. <laughs> Just tell me where to find a gun. The Forest Service weapons cache, and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Eesh. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. I don't want this anymore. Oh. All right, so that's where I'm gonna have to end it, guys. I'm gonna have to end it right here after day one. So. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. If you guys do enjoy it, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, stay frosty, baby.